Hello YouTube, this will be a video on how to do your uh, homemade water cooling system using some copper tubing. First you need to bend the copper tubing around, in the, around the motor, so you need to unscrew uh, the bracket that stays around this, this motor and, and after that you need to, to bend this tubing around it. Uh, you need to do one or three rounds uh, to in order to have this uh, in, in a good position here. So as you can see here I have around uh, three uh, rounds around the motor and now it's enough yet uh, for the bracket because if you do some more you need to cut part of the bracket out and it can be too much. Uh, I'm going to show you how you can cut to the bracket. I use uh, a hot knife. That's the old style of cutting plastics. Uh, so you can use a Dremel to, to do that as well. But this works really well. You be careful to not burn or cut your hand with this uh, knife but as you can see here you are going to make space for the tubing in the house getting some some parts of the housing out you need to pay attention when you are doing that because the, the motor needs to get inside the coil and, and go until the end of the housing without any part touching and the plastic. So as you can see here, the motor goes until the end and you can align the two, two screws. Of course you are going to... Um, and, and here you can see the comparison weight of uh, the stock motor uh, without the coil and also the one that I'm working on with the coil. So we have about 57 uh, grams for the stock motor without any water cooling system installed and the version with the water cooling will be approximately uh, 78 or 79 grams. So now let's just weight the bracket, uh, only the bracket is 3.7, the bracket with uh, the coil it's uh, 26.88 grams. Comparing those two, we actually cut part of the plastics out to make room for the coil. And it's still being something strong, so the fixing point is still there. It will hold the motor in place really well. So inserting the motor back, you need to take careful because be careful because you need to align uh, the two holes uh, in order to fix it. It's uh, really something really easy and weighing these again it's about 78.9 now how to place it inside the motor so you need to to start thinking where you're gonna put the intake and also the outtake I'm using this blue tubing uh, to to get the connection so here is the the intake goes in the bottom of the boat then uh, the water goes around the motor and goes out in the side of the motor uh, I use this plastic tubing here because that's the easiest way to connect the copper tubing uh, to the intake and also the outtake of the motor you need to have that because you don't want to have something fixed forever there so this way you can unconnect, unplug 
the inside and outside of the tubing and it will be really well so of course you can trim uh, these uh, exit points uh, normally the intake you need to have something kind of uh, in a in a shape that the waters can can really get in so that's why you have a 40 degree 45 degree angle cutting uh, the intake of uh, the tubing and just uh, placing the battery here of course it will not work because it doesn't have water but uh, you see that the motor is running well with no problems due to the modification you did uh, to your housing okay guys I uh, hope you like it uh, and thumbs up if you like it subscribe thank you bye